just need to remember on the Camino, capture the moment, take lots of mental pictures, enjoy what's happening. Don't worry too much about getting to Santiago or to Finisterre, they're destinations. Right now, you're in the moment that you've been dreaming of. Excited to leave the town with the single roundabout. In fact, I'm walking past it right now. Oh! Are you okay? You all the coffee everywhere. Oh no! I'm so sorry. It's the problem of traveling with a surfboard. Anyway. Oh, there's cars, there's roundabouts, there's flying coffee. And it is eight o'clock in the morning and it's all started. Everyone, you! The crowd is together. It's a day 133. It's from spring to autumn. Right? I thought I was going to get warmer as we went down more. It's not. Yeah. Awesome. So, we're heading to... No, I've forgotten where we're going now. Where? Soto de Lunia. No, the subway. Soto de Lunia, <laughs> with the perfect pronunciation, is where we're heading. And uh, I reckon it's around 25k. And we've got low, low cloud. Uh, only around about a 70% chance of rain today. And yeah, it's kind of like a spooky cold morning. It's the first morning where it feels cold. Only around about 10 degrees right now. It feels like spring. But we're excited to get on. Leave the town with the one round back. Supernow bridge ahead. Well, actually a wide bridge, but for pedestrians, it's really narrow. And uh, you kind of got to get it right. Not easy to walk down. Definitely not one you'll want to walk on the hard shoulder. Well, the choice is yours. Oh, death by car or death by drowning. <laughs> You've got all the, all the options laid out for you right there. Don't worry, you'll make it. Well, first climb of the day is done. And what a view to uh, be rewarded with. It's spectacular. And yeah, you gotta love it. Only way you get the views is to make the climbs. 
Well, that's the first one done of the day. We've got a few more, a bit of a rolling day today. And then there's one final climb at the end to our destination. And isn't it always the case that there's a climb right at the end? There's either a climb at the end or a major descent at the end with terrible cobblestones every time. Anyway, right now, just need to remember on the Camino, capture the moment, take lots of mental pictures, enjoy what's happening. Don't worry too much about getting to Santiago or to Finisterre, they're destinations. Right now, you're in the moment that you've been dreaming of. I'm in the moment that I've been dreaming of. Connecting with God, connecting with people, a slow life, thinking deep, going deep, and really, ah, oh, saturating myself in this incredible country. Wow, just stunning. Hola! Buen camino. Muchas gracias. Little town's got an albergue, a cafe, a bar, all rolled into one. I don't know why we weren't staying here. And the church next door, just to go and sort yourself out after you've had a party back there. Phew! What a beautiful day and what a way to start the day. Walking to a beautiful square just having a coffee. Mm. I could get used to that one. Fantastic! glorious forest we're walking through right now. Actually feels like a little bit of a, a jungle, a rainforest if you will, but beautiful. Last night in our little Airbnb, we watched The Way for the millionth time. We showed it to the kids who'd never seen it. If you don't know the movie, it's a story that depicts the Camino de Santiago, the Frances route. And it's just phenomenal, it's amazing. Really, really worth watching. And uh, yeah, it was a very, very, very special uh, night as we sat there and, and just really appreciated the fact that we're on this pilgrimage, walking into a destination, which simply put is just trying to get closer to Jesus every day, step by step. Something interesting is happening. In the background, Reggie is getting a pilgrim's stamp on her pilgrim's passport from the local police that have their headquarters in this building here, which is connected to that amazing church here, which is right next to the palace, which is behind those gates. <laughs> it's an amazing setup. It's just brilliant. The church, royalty, and the guard, all in one location holding it down and facilitating the, pas the uh, pilgrim's passports.
Okay, someone needs to win. I can't see it. Come on, go, 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 ocean has reappeared and it looks like I mean I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to overstate it but maybe there's waves today this could be the day the sun's out we're only 8k off our destination and I think we're staying at the beach could this be the day finally where I get to go for a surf I wouldn't bet on it What did I say? Either a crazy uphill to your final destination or a crazy downhill. And we're having a crazy downhill. Beautiful, you know, ancient path. But oh, my feet are hurting on these rocks. And it's full rock. Full rock. <laughs> With mud and, but oh, I mean. Can't beat it. So we've arrived at our accommodation for the night. We can't quite work out whether it's a prison or an albergue. Nobody's quite sure. It's getting some significant reactions from the crew. See how it pans out. After a phenomenal day, we've got the albergue to ourselves, we've got food going down, the Reggie's cooked an amazing meal, full pilgrim style, and we are loving life, everyone. This is amazing. You may be staying in the prison, but easy lunch. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night, whatever you're doing.